All right, well, here it is. I guess we should unwrap the beast. This is a great opportunity to see the beloved chunky tapered tube. Quite thin walled, nice and light. Looks like one piece all the way down to become a part of the fork. Genius. Oh, it's looking so good already. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> a little jiggle, just so that everything is moving nice and smooth. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Getting everything just right. Maybe the fork's a little, just a little bit tilted in, or the caps, they do spin loose, and they're kind of free floating, so they can just pop out that one little bit, which is probably what it is. And I pushed on it, and did the first little bit of damage to the finish on this beautiful frame. I'll give that a little tighten, I'll do it up later as well. What a nice break. They look hilarious with their short handles. I'm used to the standard Magura lever. They call it a two finger. Works great with one. This is like the mega small compact. So we'll see what all those adjustments mean when it's time to ride it. Well, those are pretty much spot on. We'll see how they are once they've been bedded in. So I got the chain line sorted and sized up the chain, placed it on there, positioned the chain tensioner. I was going to do the recommendation by every trials person I've ever followed to use the link, the original rivet on the, the chain link. To reconnect the chain but I could see damage happen as I used my chain brake. So these new E1X, 1EX, whatever they are, the HX610 got superseded by this chain and clearly it's a strong chain but it's not up for having the rivets removed and rejoined. So I'm using the supplied chain link. You guys may have seen in the unboxing that it came with stamp pedals, which isn't even what the bike originally said it would come with. But I have something way cooler to put on. Not only are these Hope pedals, which I think are one of the coolest pedals out there, because they're set up with three bearings instead of just one, like most pedals come with, so they're super, super low maintenance, very durable. They've got the double bar, which is maybe, maybe heavier way stronger. These ones have the solid pins and they're pink. I wasn't sure if the pink would really go with the bike but I think pink looks really good on there actually. Let me know what you guys think. Amazing. I guess all I really need to do is put a couple of sap straps on this thing and make some fine tweaks. Check all the bolts. And this thing is going to be ready for the test ride. Oh, look at that. My tires are even lined up. I didn't even do that on purpose. I'm sure it needs a couple of tweaks. This one's not tight enough, even though I tightened it up what I thought sufficiently. But it's riding awesome already. I've been riding on an old Brody, which rides really well. My Brody trials, my force. This thing. Track stands nice. It's awesome on the rear wheel. Went straight to my back, trying to do a little switch footed Allie Clarkson. Disco. 
This is the perfect moment for me to tell you guys to head down to the comments. And let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys ride trials. And if you guys are like a 20 inch, 22. It's more of a thing for your size or age. 24 or 26. I've been dedicated to the 26. It just feels right. The guys that I've always been inspired by ride the 26. So I had no reason to go 24. It was just two inches smaller. So I went with 26 and I'm sticking with it. Just like I'm sticking with 26, I'm glad that you guys are here to stick with me. So if you are, you should head over to my channel and subscribe, check the whole thing out.